it's Flopworth Day 5 and I'm sitting doing my advent with a coffee. They are pretty, very pretty. And vintage buttons. So cute. I love buttons. Thank you, Polly. Next is the new Lee Advent Swap from Anne. So pretty, look at the colours. Ah, oh, it's going to go beautifully in the sock. <coughs> a couple of the ones that Anne sent me are singles. But I'm not worried about it because they're going in the um leg of the sock, so they're not gonna get a lot of wear. This one's a singles. But as I say, that's okay. And then, from Cherie. <coughs> oh, thank you. We have, ooh. Turkey caramel. English tea shop Earl Grey, which I absolutely love. And Oli and Bella, one of a kind, blue tit, which is such a perfect colour for, uh, name for it. It's beautiful, it's all right in those. Absolutely lovely. Thank you, Cherie. Oh, I'm a lucky girl, I've got lots of pretties. Now, number five on the tea advent. Black tea with honey and melon. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Not sure I'm going to like that one. Yes, It says black tea with licorice, cinnamon, and cloves. I'm going to try it and see, see how it goes. You never know. I might like it. I'll tell you later how I get on with it. <coughs> oh, I've been running some errands with my mum and took her to um, pick up a telly table that she bought for her new television. Nip to TK Maxx very briefly and then uh, we've just been in Lidl. Mum's just in there paying for her shopping now. I beat her to it by just a, a few minutes. Sorry, trying to talk and do seatbelt up at the same time. Um, Rachel of So Very Me, excuse me, if you happen to be watching, I don't think you do, but see this. This is fudge that I saw you showing me on your vlogmas yesterday in Lidl and I couldn't stop thinking about it. It's the Christmas spiced fudge. It's got little bits of fruit and stuff in it as well. It's every bit as lovely as I, uh, as I imagined it would be. So that one's for you Rachel. Mm. It's so sweet it makes your teeth ache, but it's gorgeous. 
I'm good. While I was waiting for everybody else to be done in the shower this morning, I sat and wound up my um, my two minis for my shawl, and I wound up on this one for my sock. So I'm going to drop Mum at home and stay and have a coffee with her and Dad, and. Uh, Mesh a few rounds on my top before I go back and uh, tackle the mountainous pile of ironing that awaits me. But that's okay because I've still not watched Strictly, believe it or not, Thursday. And I've still not had a chance to watch Strictly. So I'm going to be watching that and the results while I'm ironing. And amazingly, no one has spoiled me for that yet. So uh, <coughs> we'll see how I'm feeling after I've seen the results show. Tonight's tea is lentil, bacon and tomato soup and I fully intended on filming the process of making it but then I just wasn't feeling very grand and I couldn't be bothered to tangle with the um, that thing you put your camera on, tripod. So uh, I thought I'll show you the finished product and tell you what's in it. So it's um, onion, carrot, celery, bacon red lentils, <clears throat> tin tomatoes, stock and then salt and pepper but not much salt because the bacon is salty, um, garlic granules, I've used that instead of fresh garlic because I have to be careful about the amount of garlic that I consume, uh, ground cumin, dried oregano, <clears throat> paprika cook it until all your vegetables are nice and soft and your um, lentils are also well cooked and soft and then blitz it and it is one of the nicest soups you'll ever taste. It's also um, I don't know what else it also is. Oh yes it's I know what I was going to say it takes quite a lot of liquid Probably more stock than you would normally put in a soup because of the amount that the um, lentils soak up when they're cooked. So just to bear that in mind if you decide to make it. But there'll be loads of recipes out there. At some point, hopefully, I will make it again and show you how to do it properly. But, um, yes, that's what's for tea tonight. And I've got some nice bread tiger bread for the boys and then Ivy and I will have um, gluten free cobs out of the freezer which are very tasty. <coughs> mm, lovely coughs again. Well it's the end of another busy day it's just about nine o'clock I've got a few rounds left to do on my advent sock for the day and then I'm going to cast on. This is some DK I've just dyed up and I'm going to make the Northern Lights hat by Soothsayer Design. Um, and this is a, a cheeky last minute Christmas gift for someone in my life. So, uh, well, obviously, because I wouldn't be making a Christmas gift for somebody not in my life, would I? But um, this is a DK sparkle base, merino nylon sparkle. And I'm really pleased with how it's dyed up. It's my first time dyeing this base. And I'm going to be dyeing some more to make some things for myself as well. This isn't any particular colourway. This is just some colours I chucked in a pot together because I thought they would suit her. So, on that note, I'm going to say night-night and I'll see you again on the morrow. <laughs>